This video is created by Jagrat Creations. This video is on capital reduction or say internal reconstruction. It is useful to the students who are reading for inter CA or say IPC or those who are reading in become a subject of corporate accounting. This video, this video is also useful to the students who are reading for CS executive and inter ICWA or any other course who has got this capital reduction or the internal reconstruction as a chapter in their syllabus. I want to solve one sum here before you based on this, uh, this, this concept. Observe the sum on the screen. Read it carefully. I'll solve the sum here before you. Let me start. Balance sheet of X Company Limited as on 31-3-2016 is given below. On asset side you are given asset, patent, land and building, machinery, stock, debtors, cash and profit and loss account debit balance. On liability side you are given equity share capital, preference share capital, general reserve, debentures and creditors. A scheme of internal reconstruction for X company was formed which was approved by all concerned parties as well as the court. Main conditions of the scheme are given below. Equity shareholders agreed to forego paid up capital. Paid up capital is foregone. So face value of the capital remains same but the paid up value declines. By 50% of the equity share of rupees 100 each, preference shareholders will let go paid up capital by 50% of the preference shares of rupees 100 each, but they will be given rupees 50 paid up equity share against 2 years accrued preference share dividend. Remember that the face value of the share do not change, but the paid up value of the share changes. When paid up value only changes, then the face value remains same, so company can ask for call money to the extent the paid up value has been declined. Debenture holders will accept 90% of their amount in the form of preference shares in full settlement. Creditors agree to forego 10% of the dues. Goodwill and patent can face, can face no value. All real assets are shown at their market value. Market price of the land and building is 25% more, more than book value. The market price of machine is 40% less than book value. Out of the debtors, 5% are bad. Prepare necessary journal entries and also prepare the balance sheet. After and prepare the balance sheet after the reduction. So I am required to prepare journal entries as well as balance sheet. I am going to prepare balance sheet as per schedule 3. So I am going to prepare notes on accounts too. Let me start with the sum. Here I prepare capital reduction account. Here I am going to prepare notes on accounts under with the information given to me as adjusted will be considered share capital reserves and surplus. So these are the titles in which the notes on accounts are prepared for the purpose of balance sheet. So this is the notes on accounts titles that I have recorded. Here I am going to write down the journal entries. Here the first adjustment given in the sum is brought. This is the balance sheet given to me in the sum. Equity shareholders agreed to forego paid up capital by 50%. Equity share capital is 5 lakhs. Capital reduction 50%. So remaining is also 50%. So 5 lakh minus 2 lakh 50,000, 2 lakh 50,000 is the remaining balance. What is the journal entry? Equity share capital account debit to capital reduction account credit. B. Paid up value of equity share reduced by 
for the given share capital. Now this is how the first entry is recorded. If the paid up value has not declined, then the journal entry will follow. Just listen, how the journal entry will follow. Equity share capital rupees 100 account debit, if it is 100. Equity share capital rupees 100 account debit 5 lakhs. To equity share capital account credit rupees 50 account credit 2 lakh 50 thousand. To capital reduction account credit 2 lakh 50 thousand. But here the paid up value has decreased. So this is how the entry gets recorded. Same is the case with reference share capital. Now the remaining share capital that is recorded here in notes. Capital reduction account is credited for the contribution made by equity shareholders for capital reduction scheme. Now first point is over. Second point. Preference shareholders will let go paid up capital by 50%. 2 lakhs is the preference share capital. 50% reduction therein. 1 lakh. Remaining preference share capital. 50% of 2 lakhs, 1 lakh. Journal entry. Preference share capital account debit to capital reduction account credit. Capital reduction account is credited with 1 lakh. And the preference share will appear in the balance sheet rupees 50 paid up, 1 lakh. This is how this adjustment is taken into consideration. By that, this second point is over. They will be given 50 paid up equity share against 2 years accrued preference and dividend. So let me work out 2 years accrued dividend. So 2 lakh into 12.5% into 2 years. That works out to 50,000. Equity shares are given for 50,000. This is an unrecorded liability. When the unrecorded liability is required to be paid or settled, it's a loss. Capital reduction account is debited. Liability account is credited. And the liability that is known as known as areas of preference share dividend. So that liability account will be debited and equity share capital account gets credited. So capital reduction account debit to accrued dividend. Accrued dividend account debit to equity share capital account credit. Capital reduction account is debited. And the equity shares given is added to the share capital in the notes on accounts. Now this point is over. Third, debenture holders will accept 90% of their amount in the form of preference shares. How much are the debenture holders? 3 lakhs. 90% thereof. For that, preference shares are given and remaining amount is foregone capital reduction. So 3 lakh into 90%, 2 lakh 70,000. For this, 2 lakh 70,000 preference shares are given. And 3 lakh minus 2 lakh 70,000, that is capital reduction. So the journal entry for that 15% debenture's account debit to preference share capital account credit to capital reduction account credit. So this preference share capital given is added to notes on accounts in preference share capital. Capital reduction account is credited with 30,000. This is how the settlement with debenture holders has taken place. The point of debenture holders is over. Next, creditors agree to forego 10% of the dues, creditors are 2,50,000, like 10% capital reduction forego, decrease in liabilities again, credit into capital reduction account, remaining creditors are 2,25,000, 2,50,000, minus 25,000, 2,25,000, they will appear in the balance sheet under trade payables. General entry, creditors account debit 25,000 to capital reduction account credit. Capital reduction account is credited and creditors will appear in trade payables to like 25,000. This is how this point is considered. So this creditors point is over. Goodwill and patents fetch no value. Goodwill and patent fetch no value means it is to be returned off against the contribution made by the Share capital, preference share capital, etc. Journal entry for that capital reduction account debit to goodwill account. Two patents and this profit and loss account debit balance also must be written off. So 1,75,000 is debited to capital reduction account. So goodwill, capital reduction to goodwill, two patents to 
profit and loss account. This is how these assets which has no value are written off. All real assets have to be shown at their market value. Market price of land and building is 25% more. Land and building 2 lakhs. Plus 25% thereof to 50,000. Market price is 2 lakh 50,000. This will appear in the balance sheet and the 50,000 is a gain that will be credited to capital reduction account. So the general entry for that is land and building account debit to capital reduction account credit. So capital reduction account is credited and land and building will appear in the balance sheet in tangible assets at a value of 2 lakh 50,000. Market value of machinery is 40% less. Machinery 8 lakhs. 40% there of 3 lakh 20,000. That is deducted. So 8 lakh minus 3 lakh 20,000. So amount value after reduction 4 lakh 80,000. That should appear in tangible assets. And this is a loss that will be debited to capital reduction account. So capital reduction account debit to plant and machinery account credit out of the details 5% are bad so this machine is recorded machinery account is credited capital reduction account is to be debited the amount will be found out after this bad debt being recorded Returns 60,000 minus bad debts 5% so 57,000 is the details that will appear in receivables and 3,000 loss that will be debited to capital reduction. Capital reduction account debit to debtors account. The total is 323,000. That will be debited to capital reduction account. This is how debtors are done. Plant and machinery 320,000. This is how this entry is posted. Fill at 20,000, plant and machinery and data. Now general reserve will be transferred to capital reserve, general reserve account debit to capital reduction account credit. Now remaining items is to be copied in the balance sheet stock as it is, 150,000 inventories, cash and bank balances, cash and cash equivalents. This is how all the items of balance sheet are considered. Now I want to close this capital reduction account. Total of credit minus total of debit transfer to capital reserve. 57,000 rupees are transferred to capital reserve. So capital reduction account debit to capital reserve account credit. And this capital reserve will appear in reserve and surplus. These are the journal entries. These are the notes on accounts that I have prepared. This is the capital reduction account that has been prepared and disclosed. For this journal entries, you can write the narration in your own language. Now I want to prepare a balance sheet. As per schedule 3, these are the titles in which the balance sheet is reported. Assets, non-current assets, tangible, intangible, current assets, receivable cash and cash equivalents, equity share capital, rupees 50, paid up per share, preference share capital, rupees paid up per share, Capital reserve, 15% debentures nil, creditors, land and building, machinery, intangible assets, inventories, debtors after bad debts, cash and cash equivalents. Have a total of equity and liabilities, 9,52,000. This is a total for assets. This is how total segregate. Here I have prepared balance sheet as per schedule 3. This is notes on accounts. I have already written the journal entries for you. This is a capital reduction account, notes on accounts. This is a balance sheet. I feel that you have followed. Thanks to all of you.